This is a fish. You got a fish. <laughs> Grab him. Grab him hold. Okay, throw him back, throw him back, throw him back. Oh, he's squeaking at me. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today, me and my beautiful fiance Anita, and Uncle Jason, and Aunt Gail, and uh, Rosie and Michelle. I think Darren and Ange might be up there too. We're all going fishing today in Howley. It's a beautiful evening here. It was raining all day, but we held off for the evening before we went. Hopefully, we'll get up there around uh, 7:20 and have a few good hours fishing. Hopefully, we get to fish. Anita wants to catch a big one, so yeah. hopefully, Anita gets a big old fish. I'd love to see that. So stay tuned, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Driving down the Halley Road, uh, you know, I try to be a bit cautious because I know there's a lot of moose on the go, especially this year. I've heard a lot of people say that there's been uh, quite a few moose on the go. Last time we come out, me and Noah seen two. Uh, my buddy Braden uh, did a YouTube video and they went in early in the morning and they counted nine, I believe. So, I mean, there's definitely no shortage of moose. And, and it's definitely something you wouldn't want to run over, uh, you know, be a pretty big speed bump. <laughs> Four of them. They're so close. Oh my gosh. Two This little spot here is where they first introduced the moose population in Newfoundland. Back in 1904, I believe. Right in this very community. So, it's pretty cool. And this is the Howley Trussell. Well, we are as close to Sandy Dump as I was to get in car. Uh, the path looks pretty beaten down there with all the bike tracks and everything. But I'm not really sure I want a chance going any further. So we might have to get out here now and walk the rest of the way. Because if I get stuck in my rig and uh, I can't get out, that'll be pretty fun. There is a bit of a breeze on up here, but it's not too bad. You excited? Yep. Woo. So we're just walking up here now to Sandy Dump. And, uh, and Uncle Jason and Gail are just coming there now. There's only another couple hundred feet till we're there. And it's a bit chilly, but hopefully if Anita stays warm, that's the main thing I'm worried about. They make sure she stays warm. I'm walking right here because the sand is a bit higher. Nice. How do you feel what you're doing? Is he big? <laughs> yeah, right? Uncle Jason got one on in there. Nice trout. Andrew, did you get that one? A nice trout. Oh yeah, he was shining, I didn't know what he was. Well, we're just getting our lines in water up here now. 
Anita's right there, Michelle and Rosie. And way down this way is Darren and Ange and the boys and Uncle Jason and Gail and Josh and Ashley. So there's a few of us up here, but there's a, a great divide separating us. <laughs> Uncle Jason dug some fresh worms today. And uh, every time I lose one, I gotta trek back 200 feet. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting wicked at it. I'm sorry, that's not... Holy, holy cow! You're getting further than I am. Wow. Is that something? Does it fit? You got a fish. You wanna hold it? Can I hold like the line? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I want you to hold it on I want you to hold it around itself. Can okay? I do that? Yes you can, yeah. Just hold just grab him right there. Grab him. Well he's gonna squirm, but just grab him, grab him right there. Gonna go hold him. Grab him. Grab him hold. Him. Okay, throw him back, throw him back, throw him back. Oh he's squeaking at me! <laughs> that was a big That was a big fish! You got fish gunk on your hands! How's it feel? Good. <laughs> I screamed at you. <laughs> I just got a big one. <laughs> and you held it. I did. <laughs> what? Gankies. Ganky. Put it on my arm. Put it on my arm. Oh, this is what love is. <laughs> smell fine. your hand. Smell your hand. Huh? Like a fish plant <laughs> or a bridge fork. How do you feel? Good. I got a fish. So this is your first fish in He's half. the first big one I yeah. ever got. I <laughs> yeah, in Sandy Dump. How do you feel? Yeah. It's a beautiful evening and the wind died out and Anita wanted to catch a big fish and she mm -hmm. said oh I think I got one on and I think I got one on in camera and he was jumping into water. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm glad you got one. Yay! <laughs> oh. like what? Yeah. The view's getting pretty now. Absolutely gorgeous. The wind's died down now. Nice breeze. And uh, we got a lot of family and friends up here fishing. And uh, Anita just caught her first fish of the evening. Josh and Uncle Jason are gonna hook up. We had turned the lake inside out. Oh, Anita. You see that? No. I just set the hook on one and he come flying into water. <laughs> Rosie going for a slide. You curtsy, didn't you? Huh? You didn't know I could curtsy, didn't you? <laughs> now, need to see that? Look at the top part of my rod. See him? No, Rudder, what a catch I got there. Got a fish on, Andrew? No. I see it. Oh my goodness. You might die if you get here. <laughs> I'm a coming, I'm a coming. You got my video? I do, yeah. Holy wicked, that's a nice one. Fun now. Yeah, let's get to it. Nice one, landlock, isn't it? Hold on. Way to go, Anita. Okay, put now, now. Try on it. I need, how many fish is that night? Wow. Only two, a second one I brought up, the other one went.
beautiful human being. Nina, this is the hot spot, is it? So we. No way. balloons right here. I don't know if I've ever actually been so close to a couple. One right here. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, we changed spots here at the end of it and no fish. So we're uh, gonna head out and try one little cove and we're gonna head on for the evening. That was Mr. William Russell with Newfoundland Drone Productions, based at the Cornerbrook. We sat in that little chat. Uh, well, we're just heading out there now. What a wonderful, wonderful time we had. Well, I'm glad that Anita loved it because you know my my goal now recently is trying to get Anita hooked on fishing, and so far it's working pretty good. She's she's really liking it. Anita caught two, lost one, right? I lost two. I only lost one, and I had them right on the shore. I think I had it on camera. But I set the hook and he might come and he flail out of the water. But Uncle Jason had one as soon as we got there. And I think he said he lost two. We had a great time with our friends and family. I also got to meet uh, Mr. William Russell from Cornerbrook with Newfound Drone Productions. I'll put his channel uh, on the screen here and I'll put a link in the description below. When I first started making YouTube videos, uh, I was just kind of going to the local channels around my area. And I found his channel and uh, we kind of talked in the comments a bit. And uh, with that, he said he would give me a shout around his next video. And so he did. I definitely go check out uh, Mr. Russell's channel. Like I said, I'll put the, the link in the description below. But I guess that does it for today's video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Unless we see another moose. And then I'll record it if I can. <laughs> see ya.